The Walking Dead. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I, the Shotgun Master, BJ Soto, has have entered the world of The Walking Dead. Yes. On a previous episode, shit went down. Clementine made a friend for which we did not know till now. And here we are in Savannah. Episode 4, around every corner. Okay, since now we're in a city, it's more dangerous. Because we're more exposed now. Holy balls. Clementine's looking for that person. And she doesn't, she doesn't know we know. Can't I just hold it? Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's O'Neill? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You're he limping, bro. Rest. He needs to rest. Alright, let's find a home. There, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, God damn it! I said hold up. Omid needs to take a break. Let's give him a minute. We're almost at the river. Almost to the boats. Then it won't hurt to stop for just one damn minute. What the hell? What the? Yeah, a bell? A church bell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Oh, someone knows Keep we're here. Moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic, on a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Your watch still works? Nice. Hey, hey! What's up there? Are you sure? I don't see anything. That motherfucker was a ninja. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Oh, I God. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. God damn. We stumbled upon something real bad. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Smart words. It tolls for thee. Yeah. Damn. That shit was badass, Chuck. Holy balls. <laughs> oh, God. We always just think out. No, inside the box. How can we not think outside the box? Everybody, run! I think more outside. We should, like, take note of this right by now. Each noise we make, zombies come through. That's a bitch's. Just stand there. Run! Out of the way! Wow, that's on me smart to crash his leg. Kenny! Don't you dare die! Don't you dare get bit! Fuck that guy! Oh. Too close. Don't you think? Oh no! Ben? 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 Are you fucking motherfucker? I'm gonna beat your ass! I'm gonna beat your fucking ass, Ben! Get the fuck out of the way! I'm missing my shots! What's up, guy? You wanna go? You wanna go? No, 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 no! Oh, Chuck! Oh, the realist! Oh! Go! Alright, Chuck, don't you die! Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Ch ben, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna give me a fucking break. Where the hell's Chuck? Oh no, Chuck! No! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. The boat's right there. Would you There's risk no it like for one person? We gotta go now. I'm Just go. 
Chuck! You better kick ass! Oh god, where are we? I'll get the door. Oh. Ah man, you good, Omid? You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Come on, man. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Look around. Look around. Looking up. Get down. Oh, who died here? Looks like something was buried here. Oh, uh, was it a dog? Just a doghouse. Was it a dog? I mean, it's by the doghouse. So I guess it's more logical. No, 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 no. We already checked it. All right, we're good. All right, what else are we looking for? Dirt. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. <laughs> we don't want to risk that. Ooh. Oh, we got the shovel. The shovel is never not useful. Shovels are always useful, no matter what. We all seen that white girl fight, remember? Long ago. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Sh no, 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 let's try the shovel. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Come on, man. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Huh. I think I'll go have a look around. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much sure what to say there. Oh, well, let's check the... Oh, just, can we... We am going to be able to bust through that. Ben, I'm going to have some words with you. Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Uh, uh, think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm going to go check things out. All right. Clementine, you good? After all that happened. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. But they he they managed to kill us. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're these. Just stay away from the cage. I'm gonna see about getting us inside the house. I don't wanna be cookie. I don't wanna be a cookie. I mean, I would love to be a cookie, but I don't wanna be eating by someone. <laughs> How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound. You're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected. It could be. No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Just reassured us, man. Thanks, man. There we go. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. I have a shovel and I have a tool. None of those I can use. Is there anything in around? Huh? Oh, can we mess with that? We won't be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? 
I have. I have. My neighborhood yeah. was just like yeah. that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> you learn right, something new. So, where's the dog? Ah. Uh, we gotta bury the. We gotta. We gotta unbury the dog. We gotta take him out. Dig him out. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Hey, you ever? You ever seen a zombie dog? Ah, oh, it's just scraps. Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross. Clementine, honey, come sit with me and I'll need. Let Lee work. Oh, look at oh, the dog. God, the smell. The poor doggy. What has happened? Old age? Sickness? Uh. Get it off. You're gonna rip his head off. I oh, fucking knew it. That is not cool. I seen cliches like that. I, I already uh, that was already expected. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Uh, I'm sure you I said I'm fine, okay? She's fine. Babe. Alright. We've done our duty. Let's go unlock it. You know what? Maybe Clementine could go in there. She could take the thing and go in there. Girl's nothing. Yes! God damn! <laughs> yeah, we got the bottom door unlocked. You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Sounds getting louder. And closer than we think. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. Ah. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. <laughs> Clem! God damn it, get back here! Clementine! She just went in all guts. You know what? Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. <laughs> I didn't want Clem to do shit like that, cause she who knows? It's okay from here. It could be a zombie Everybody they're in. sleeping and shit. Like that one time when we're at the station, zombie was just chilling there out of nowhere and boom. And I couldn't. I had to take a while to get back inside. I didn't want that to happen again. But she's safe now, so good job, Clem. Good and bad job. <laughs> oh man, what we got in here? Looks like a fucking mansion. Oh. Oh, whose family is that? Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was going to tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. <sighs> Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. 
I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kitty. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. We all have our own opinions. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. There's a lot of bottles. Is there any like drinks in there? Any liquid? You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen Omid need anything, okay? Okay. <laughs> That's alright, Clementine. We don't want you pulling stunts like that, like, more often. The chances of a so bad happen. Must have stopped working a while ago. Or something good happened to slim to none. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Yeah, stay sober. I want to check this table. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Heavy ass table, huh? All right, any clues? There's a bunch of papers around. Should we like check them? I'm just not giving us an option. It really isn't. Check this. All empty. All right, that's that's the door we came in, and what is it? Yeah. Let's check the sink. You working? Nothing. Water's off. Ah, oh, the system now. Oh, paper, paper. Bag? Chips? Any goodies in there? Dog food? I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. It's dog food. Oh. Let me check that microwave. Come on, is there any, like, ramen in there? Nope. No power. Oh, that too. Well, at least open it, you know. Anything in the freezer? My dog, Walter. Walter! Oh. How your time has passed. Hopefully it was a, a lovely time with that dog. The old yeller. How's it coming? We're empty as shit over here. Even a dog food's empty, I think. It looks empty. Presumably more f there's food than, than we think. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, stairs. Ooh. Oh. And look around. Looking up, get down, jump around. Let me check this door. We gotta check all the doors. And then. It's just a closet. All clear in here. Okay. The family. Their dog. Huh. Some gory paintings he got there. Not exactly my style. Someone was depressed. Tch. Okay. The music changed. Something about to happen here. Hello. It's a bathroom. Nothing hiding in here. Just one more to check. The big door? The main door? Ooh. Right, before I talk to y'all, let me let me I need to check the doors. And the horse. Which which door is it? Is it this one? Oh, it's a big one. Is this where the the, the the other living room? I mean judging by the landscape of this of this this house. Jesus. Oh. It's just a mop! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. We got scared by a mop. Please ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. 
I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. Ooh. It's okay. You can tell us. Yeah, tell us all you need. What does he want? Tell us. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? God. Lee, what do you want, Ben? get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. What happened to Kenny? What's going on? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? No. I can't get him to come down. Stay here. <sighs> Kenny. Please don't be dead. Please don't... Please. I don't want to see the worst. I don't want to see the expected... No! Kenny? Ken. What happened? What happened? Kenny. You okay, man? What's... Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Is it a dead body? Oh my god. Oh shit, it's alive. Ah. Uh, it looks like it looks like duck. He's, that's probably what he's that thinking. Like duck, yeah. Nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. And he still turned. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. Kenny, man, we don't have to do this right now. Maybe we should just get out of here. He can't hurt anyone. You want to just walk away? I don't know if I can do that either. <sighs> Poor kid must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found him when I did. Oh, that is true. We cannot use a gun. Let me talk. Let me talk to Kenny first. Oh, let's. All empty. He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. Uh, what a way to live. What a way to die. Just ran out of food. Like we almost did. Like we still might. Yeah, there's... There's no almost. We're still in the process of it. I can't give him the gun. I really can't give him the gun. I can't. You gotta think logical about that. We will make a noise. Listen, man, may you rest in peace. I'm sorry. Ah, that was fragile as hell. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. <sighs> Badass picture right there. Even though it's sad, but it looks amazing. Oh, man.
Or we got Barum next to his dog. I mean, he looks small enough. Alright, boy. Little child. You get to die with your pet. You get to die to your... With your amazing... Your long loveling animal. At least rest a peace for your friend. Your best friend. A man's dog is a man's best friend. It's a hard sign to see. We gotta keep doing this. <laughs> it is repeatedly. There was a fallen comrade for other people. We're just doing what's right. Apparently, proper burials the only good thing we can do. I mean, it's not really that proper, but it's a burial, regardless. I gotta keep doing this. <sighs> Fourth time still. Holy shit! Hey! Holy shit, hey. that was actually someone! I thought it was an actual zombie! That was actually someone, someone! You stay the hell away from us, you hear? Lee, what's going on? <sighs> I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Jimmy? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. Alright, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, uh Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. I had none of those options that says you can. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? Motherfucker. Yeah! No offense, Ben, but I'd feel safer if you stayed here. How am I supposed to not take offense to that? <laughs> what am I, a liability? Yeah. Great. Just great. Thanks a lot for the vote of confidence. Confidence is earned, Ben. And you've got a long way to go to earn yours back after some of the stuff you pulled. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Hey, you can't get angry. You're in no position to get angry. Yeah, let's pick the logical re reason. We, I, Of course we're here to rest. 
But right now we don't hear any zombies, and it's not safe no longer since a douche, probably working working with the the rest of the douches, has spotted us our location. So we're 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 empty. We're just we're just sitting ducks here. We gotta think fast, act quickly. And Ben, I will kick your ass one day. Please give me an option in the future. Please. Let's see if he lives to tell. To be. <laughs> Let's see if he lives for me to give him the beating I've been wanting. Kenny's in his thoughts. And I'm with no thoughts. And I, what I mean by thoughts, I mean thoughts. Not thoughts. Just thoughts. <laughs> if that makes any sense. What the hell? What does that mean? Looks like probability statistics. Hey. Talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, River's we... right up ahead. <sighs> Clearly, he doesn't. Fuck, another bell. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Are they are they doing that trying to switch locations or are they doing that? What because the hell is going on? We're not the only ones that is exposed. Is there another group out there and they did that to them or what the hell's going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Who are <laughs> Define bell. Let's keep moving. All right, the tall house is that what it says? The tall, the tall horn, the tall hotel. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're. Oh God. Oh my God. Why well, is it strong this time? Oh, the boats are all destroyed. Is the plan, Lee? This is our best and only shot. You said so yourself back at the house. You agreed with me. Yeah, but that was before we. Come on, man. This one might still be salvageable. better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. Telescope, you can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Shit, I might see someone. I might see someone, bro. Alright, let's look around. Looking up, get down. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Yeah, this boater, this butt's just, this butt, this booty. What the fuck? Yeah, this boat's just stuck. This, this might be a chance. We'll, we'll see, we, we might check some batteries and all. Like the the, 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 the the batteries. Why am I stuttering? The boat batteries. Locked. Newspaper is still a thing? I guess it still is. I mean, yeah, it's still a thing. I still see it in downtown. Tires removed. Engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Shit. How did he do that? How did they do all this? I mean, I've seen stripped cars in person. But how they did this? I mean, I know how they did it, but how they did it without making enough noise? That's what I meant to, to ask. Well, they must be real slick. They probably use that bell for the advantage, and boom. Like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. They got. This must be a lot of people to do that. They probably did it so quick. News, newsstand. Any money? Old cash register. 
Not much use these days. <laughs> yeah, money ain't gonna help. An abandoned newsstand. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Must have, but who knows how? Uh, the hell are these markings? How available this place was? I think these are signs to say that this was already checked. Was it two people were here? One's dead. One more came in. A A J. Sixty A O B. Is that like a street address or some shit? Oh god, what happened here? Wow! This reminds me of Sparta. 300. Stay out, huh? Damn, they have they made zombies as their barricade. barricade. Whoa, it's fucking smart. There's no point in shooting them. Someone very, very heartless. Someone very smart. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. Why would you want to go? That's a lot of bodies. Look, they're still moving and shit. Another one of these. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Times. Shit, I don't know. What we got? We're looking more closer here. Anything gonna write? What's the point in going back? Huh? Anything to look up for? Buildings. Nah, nah, nah. Shooting the walkers, whatnot. Can I look at a telescope? Please keep out. Not exactly a welcome banner. It's in case someone comes ar across this river on the boat. Okay, yeah, here. Let's look at the telescope. Let's see what we can find. Great. Needs a quarter to work. The cash register. What does it say? Hit it? No. Is that to hit it? Hit it and quit it. No, let's go to the cash register. Go, 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 go. It's the most logical thing. That's how boring this video is. We're picking logical shit. We're not being creative as much. Oh god. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Empty. What? Yeah, that would have been too easy. Why don't you just shake it? Empty. Somebody already cleaned this place out. I mean, why don't you just shake it? There's bound to be something, you know. Okay, I guess my only our only option right now is to use this item. Uh, this item helped me a lot. I had this. I have it since then. Damn, built solid. Kenny, you don't suppose you have a quarter, right? <laughs> I mean, that red red register is empty, bro. You got a quarter on you? Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. <sighs> the cars? Where else? Why am I sliding? It's bullshit. I hate this, this turnaround stuff. Can we break this open? It says red, so that's probably bad. Oh! No? That's something, yeah! I think it says bad because we can make noise. And there's a benefit towards that. I mean, benefits and unbenefits. That pull stuck in his ass. Do we need just one? Please, just one. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line. Well, someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? Don't be afraid. What the? What the hell is that? A fate worse than death. That's true. You're gonna be stuck around there. Around where well, many people you don't even know. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. That might be something. 
It may look abandoned, but that's that they could be taking advantage. Something Think about it. Boots down there. Think about it. They could be taking advantage of it. It looks abandoned. No, there's someone in here. I'm gonna look. Look closely and simply. Plenty of ducks. No boats. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. No way that one's salvageable. Anything else right here? Any douches? Nothing but water. Not a boat to be seen. The Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Is it damaged? Like, did it break apart? No, it looks stable. What the fuck? There's someone right there! There's a ninja! Holy shit, she's using those uh, those things they use for mountain climbing. Get down. Oh, smart. Get down. Is that a she or he? It looks like a she a bit. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? <sighs> Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Alright. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. <laughs> oh, we're talking. We're talking now. Let's do this. Creeping on an ass, creeping on an ass. Listen, man, listen, war man. I'm gonna beat your ass for getting us killed. Almost getting us killed. Who knows if Chuck's still alive? Um, what the? She is a f fucking ninja. Oh! Hell no! Nope! Boom! Knock your ass out. Not, much, not so much of a ninja, huh? Huh? Reflexes, bitch! Oh, why? Why? Why do you keep coming out of nowhere? No sorry. No sorry. It is a she. I fucking knew it. From Crawford. Have you been following us? Following you? Mind if I get up? Slowly. They're all good questions. I need to ask them all. Ah, I should have picked Crawford. Would have been more logical. <sighs> Kenny, no, it's not our guy. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! No, he's with us. All the more reason. Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. 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 This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. Hi. What's wrong? Why is she seem so confused? What the fuck? You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? The fuck's Crawf Crawford? Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yeah, as much knowledge when as needed. Everything started going to shit. Some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. <sighs> Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah. 
That would be me. I knew it. Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. Well, we were bait. Yeah, genius. Yeah. Get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the belly eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart. <laughs> Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. You gotta look at other people's perspective. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Yeah, anti-Jesus. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. We got one example. Sick, That's enough. Too old. Anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. Damn. Such strict assholes, huh? How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? <sighs> Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Shit. Great. Just great. Well, we got a couple of assholes on our tail. John must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... We're not in a group, so she's on her own. Look at that. Hey, you're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Leave us here? Please. Aw, oh, child. Come on, make it fast. Come on, child first. Child first. <laughs> Look at Kenny all, all shook and shit. Come on, come on, hurry! Ah! Come on. Instincts, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on. How's it? No. Oh no, I'm not dying today. Fuck this. Jump. Why am I walking so slow? Why can't you just jump over it? That would have been way logical. Or... You, you fucking... You dumbass! Come on, Lee! Come on, Lee! Come on, Lee! Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! The sewer! That's... Can't get it open! Here! Use that to pry it open! Uh, think fast! Do it quick! Come on! Spam that A button! Spam it! I'm out this bitch! I'm good, don't you worry! I'm good! Why can't you just jump down? Well, we don't even know how deep it is. Well, she's undead. Or dead. Let me 
the time. Can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Oh god, we're in a sewer. Shit. Dead. Dead, dead. Anything to look around for? There's no point going up there. Let's go down here. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is that it? Let's not let, let us let us pry. <laughs> like they say, let us pray, but let's let us pry. I pry every time. Anything back here? Nope. All right, let's go down here. Slid it quick. All right. So, a little, little quiet moment. Oh, you touched the shit. Oh, dead rats. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. And don't touch your shoes after. <laughs> you just kick that shit. You just kick those. You just kick the rats. Oh, can we open this? <sighs> Anything else? Over here. Oh, we need like a wheel. If you want to use that. Oh. What's that? They're eating someone, bro. Oh, oh, let's crash, 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 crash. They almost saw us. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Left or right? It says right is red. Oh. There we go. Yeah. But this wheel, we need it. We might, yeah, we didn't, we, I think, or, or we just turn it. Trying to grab the sound, huh? Oh! Shit. Let's go back. Let's go back. Alright. Ah. That's only bananas. Better not see me. Whew. Whew. All right, right. To the right, to the right. There we go. Now they, now they could come this way. Oh no! That was Chuck. No! For he thou, Luthus. For thou is bravest. Thy bravest. No. <laughs> no, Chuck. Why? Why? Is there any more? Is that it? Chuck. Chuck, my boy. I think he killed himself. He must have saved the last one for himself. You disobeyed. man. He 
kill himself because he didn't want to turn. All right, lady. I'll kick your ass. No dumping. Holy shit! The fuck, Grammy! No! Why did I use the gun? Why did I give me the option to use the gun? Why the fuck did I do that? Get the fuck off of me! Girl, why did I use the gun? Damn it! That was instantly. Get the fuck out of here! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The fuck, man. Pry this. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. Use this. No way I could pick that up on my own. Really? It doesn't look that hard. Okay, then. Ah. Oh. Damn. I can't reach it. Hold on. Let me, let's just check this. Ah. Broke off. Ah, oh, I thought we unlocked it. That door is fucked. Okay, let's do this. Let's do some parkour, man. Ninja style. Ah. Oh. oh. What the hell? There's some shit here. Wow. We found a secret passage. What? Say what? Fallout shelter. This this is when if there's like nukes and shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wonder if someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. If this is still here, then probably no one came here. But this thing's already broken, so someone must have been here. When didn't he? Eat? Of course, it's probably just one person mainly. Oh no! Ooh. Who are you? Uh... It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I Brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? Is it the cop? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. I mean, he looks so familiar from someone else. Oh no, the the the, the, the farmer boy, right? The farmer guy. Showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it! You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Listen, Vernon, man. What the hell are you doing? Listen, man. Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. We're good, well, man. Uh, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so that perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They all the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down? You're sleeping on a spot where dead people sleep in. <sighs> my group and I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. 
Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? <sighs> Look, sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Yeah. She's probably already wondering where I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? I... What the hell are you doing? It's all right, Bree. I picked that because it'll raise more suspicion. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen. To I had to be. I had, right now, I had to be pretend to be one. Bree, up, father. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go see about your daughter. I had to lie right now. I had to. Because if they're from Crawford, they would know that we don't have children. We cannot have children. So him being a daughter, let's just, let's just make it. Let's just ease in. Persuade him long enough. Persuade him more than enough. You guys remind me of NFL coaches. Because <laughs> he all the beards. <laughs> they're all gray as hell. Clementine? Clem? Oh, here you are. Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. <laughs> Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? <laughs> <sighs> this is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. Ah, oh, if he's a doctor. I think you have something that belongs to me. That thing is very helpful. Hey man, since you're a doctor, can you help out our friend? Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? He's a doctor. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Oh, Mead. Please be good. Oh, Mead, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? Good thing you didn't say daughter, because things would have been right there. Clementine? Where's Clementine? Where is she at? She has to be with at least with Kenny. Better not be with Ben, fucking bitch. No, we're right here. Check this door. Clementine, you here? Clem? Holy shit. <laughs> this shadow startled me? Are you serious? Clementine, where are you at? Hello? What Molly. are you doing? Oh, uh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. It's true. Where's Clementine? I mean, it's true. Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be drowned? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Alright, let me look in the next room. Right here. Oh. Don't see her out there. 
Why do I need to talk about this? Clementine, you up there? Shit, where could she be? Anywhere but there. Oh, what's that? What the fuck is that? A sofa? Why did that give me an option? Clementine? Hey, she says downstairs, but I want to look more up here Clementine. since I haven't really looked up here. Where is she? She's down there, man. Hold on. Clementine? We could find something other than Clementine, you know? Oh, what the fuck is that? Clem, you in here? What is that? Oh, drawing. She was here earlier. Clem's drawings. But where is she? She draw you bearing the dog and the and the, the boy. Wait, can I go over here? No, I cannot. Okay. We came from there. Let's go down here. Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Motherfucker's yeah. drunk. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You wanna throw down again like back on the train? Cause I fight better when I'm shit-faced. The fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messes. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? <laughs> You're underage, bro. <laughs> Clementine, where are you? Bathroom? Doesn't look like she's in here. I mean, we should have knocked first, you know? For all we know, she's doing her business. Doesn't look like she's in here. Where the fuck could she be? Ben, where's Clementine? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, how did Clementine sneak out of the house? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. I try to be reasonable. I should get angry at the same time. Clementine! Oh, that man better not grab her. I swear to, I swear to dick. The shed. I swear to, I swear to dolphin's dick. Doors All right. Don't think anyone came in through there. Vine, huh? Oh, please. She in the doghouse? <laughs> Be weird. Oh man, where could she be? Oh man. Where could she be? How could everyone let her out of sight? Well, such adults you guys are. The fuck? What? It actually moved? The fuck? It's making noises. Clima time. Holy shit! Me. What were you doing in there? What were you doing in there? Exploring. 
Herring? And look! Look what I found! A boat! Oh my god! She found a fucking boat! This was here the whole time? I know, right? We're so stupid! Kenny, we found a fucking boat! I guess this place wasn't so clean after all. <laughs> We'd be surprised at what we missed. May we miss this? Are you serious? Are you serious? We found a boat. Hell yes, but how are we gonna take it over there? We're gonna drag it and shit? We need like a car or something. So what now? Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? <sighs> well said. Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? <sighs> I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty, and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taking us any place. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? <sighs> Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Maybe we're just me and Kenny because walking from there. from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Ah. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. From the train, man. We actually have a map. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's... Actually, not the worst idea I've ever heard. Ah. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So... It's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? I mean, what about the risk? Well, Ben, let us out, huh? Take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Clementine's our answered prayer. Tonight. Under cover of <clears throat> I'll go let my people Let's just give credit where it's due. Clementine did this shit, all right? Midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Fallout shelters. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Oh, <laughs> everything. Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, 
it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. No one else is going to die. I promise. You can't promise that. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. No, I guess I can't. Sorry. But we let's just women out. Let's go all a limb and do it. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to... And you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to owe to you. Can't I come with you? <sighs> Fuck it! Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. And do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Y'all can say it's stupid. Y'all go ahead. But I'm least, I'm gonna try to keep one promise, alright? She stays with me. She earned her she earned her respect. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't even find this fucking boat, alright? Give credit where it's due. Alright. Ah, everyone ready? Everyone wants to go cut some snake's throat. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools might come in handy on this little break in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Mm. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30 footer. So? The so amount. We're gonna have a capacity problem. Yeah, so the amount. makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. What are you trying to say? Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Uh. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in uh. and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Molly, you wouldn't suppose to have any more to, more of those masks. Hold I mean, it could help us. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you are in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. That's right. Oh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Fucking bitch. I hate you. I hate you, Ben. I hate you. Why are you even alive? It should have been you. Carly would have been very helpful. This Fuck! Be We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Stick me at, like glue. Stick on to me like glue. Holy shit, we're out here. Let's go. Someone's screaming or is that the game? Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one. Over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. 
let's get this full. Let's get this fucking full. Alright. Sneak up on this asshole. Sneak up on him. Sneak on him. Sneak on him. Sneak on him. What the fuck? Holy shit! It was actually a zombie! But he walked like a normal guy! Wow, I was fooled there. Oh, maybe that's why there's no guards. This place has already been exposed. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! <sighs> Holy shit. Is Crawford no longer Crawford? It's just, it's just the same as everyone, every, everything else? Is that it? God damn. Fuck. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? Might have heard of. Your guess is as good as mine. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Shut up, Ben. No, this is good. Huh? Vernon's right. Deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on, I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I hope you die. Fucking bitch. You worry too much. What, what, what has Ben really done as helpful? Really? Other than just giving me a hatch. Hatchet. Uh, I think those X counts as them being in there. Just keep moving. Here. All right. Looks okay. Everybody in. What we got? I know that song. A classroom used for the barracks. Huh? I'm surprised. I'm, I'm supposed you would help me use that little thing to pry it open, huh, Looks Molly? Like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? This is their layout, right? So let's take note of it. Here. Oh, we got another one. Just give me a sec. Oh. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. I should have picked medicine. Okay, motor pole. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? Where was she with Crawford? Or was she a victim? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Alright, we okay. split up. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, 
Two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. All right, Clementine. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? Hey, just you're leaving me with Ben. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not leaving you with ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly before you know it. Yeah, you're. He's the child. You're the grown person here. Alright. <laughs> you make sure he gets this shit right. Go to state flag. A lot of history there. I did a squat just now. Matter as much now, I guess. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Can we look in the map? Let's look in the map. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurse's office. And a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. All right. Let's go ahead. On our way, soldiers! What the hell happened here? Principals of Crawford. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Oh, he's Aladdin. Damn. Such rules. Such rules. Under 14. I think in Japan it was at the age under 13. Could be considered rape or some some type of policy about age 13 and rape. I I I am I don't know I do not know the full details. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? I'm coming. Hold the fuck on. All right. What do we got here? Gunshots. Oh, I mean yeah, bullets. Fire. Bullet shells. All right, let's check this. This thing was bloody. This is the only one that's actually blood hand. Logan. Is this? <laughs> is this Logan's? Is this his locker of Logan's pictures, for which he took a pictures of, of dead bodies? <laughs> He's in a perfect place. Is it a coincidence? <laughs> He's in a he's in a, a city full of dead people, and this is a locker <laughs> which says Logan in it. <laughs> Clearly, there's pictures of dead bodies. Oh, what's going on here? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. All right. <sighs> Let's go here. Go all the way over here. Find the way, but that. Where did Molly go? Exit. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? She's a ninja, right? She's practically there. She's practically all, all, already ahead of us. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. No siree. Alright, what else we got? What does that say? Authorized motor pool workers only. Emphasis on only. Auto shop must be down this way. Ah. I, oh, what's going on over here? I hear noises. Oh. It's just a fence. That's one that's one way that's blocked. Okay. What the fuck? Is that Molly or not? Hey! Who dares startle the Shaka Master? Whoever it was is gone! What the hell? I see your game, you rogue. What we got? Huh. 
Ooh. Damn. If we if you take anything. Wow, we need wow, we need a photo ID. You need authorization. Damn, you guys are fucking strict as hell. And I mean strict strict. You don't think those are stable enough, right? Oh wow, we are. Here we go. Badass. So he's blocking it? It's jammed tight. Damn it. Where do we go now? Let me look at let me look around. Looking up, get down. Get too close. No sir, this this fence is dentist. They could try to get in there. It looks like they did try it. Or they have tried. What the fuck? <laughs> just coming out of the sky? He's mine. What 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 were you doing up there? Oh yeah, such a what's wrong? Wherever that person was, she has some personal problems. I think you got it. One more. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. <clears throat> Only as far as that. Not a problem. Look what I found. Which, oh, wow. Yeah. That'll work. We're just gonna stand there, huh? See, that shit's coming down. Alright. Alright. Come on. Shit. I press the A button. Let's get there. Come on. That fucker's still alive, huh? Oh. We made it. We good. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Ugh, I'm getting tired. Wow. What we got? Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. And that's on Octopus Prime. Should we go out here? No, let's not do that just yet. It's the holes for the lift hydraulics. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. No power. We need that down. I'm sure of it. It's even blinking. Oh, if it's blinking. I can't reach it up there. Obviously, but if it's blinking, that's, that's a sign. Look at it. Just look at it. That blinking must be an anti-theft system. Good chance yeah. of a working battery being in that car. Yeah, see? I can find a way to get up there. Yeah. Think outside the box. Can we go around here? No? Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. A truck's always useful. You could fucking smash douches with that. I guess we have to go out here. It's no. locked. No way in. But is there a way out? <laughs> Alright, let's check down here. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Molly, give me your shit. Clearly you have some items. Something you need? 
Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? Hilda. <laughs> That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. All right. Scratch it. <laughs> use, use like a razor blade and scratch it. Scratch the hell of it. Ah. I did it. Ah. That's probably not good. No shit. Why did I cross my arms? Hurry. There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. All right, take out the negative. Which one's the negative? It doesn't tell me. Uh, negative should be at the right, right? All right, positive. We take the negative out. Got yes. that one off. Boom. It's off. And we got it. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Oh, you're gonna carry okay, the whole heavy me. shit. Onward! Why am I walking? Holy shit, they came out from the bottom so fast. Is that an Alabama flag I just saw? Yeah, it is! It's an Alabama and where I want to be free. Shoot it. Let's go. Woo! Look at that shit. She even bent her arm. Jump! Get up there. Boom! Magic. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. <sighs> All right. What did you call me? Well, that you mention it. Ah! Holy shit. There we go. Why is there... What part of the building we are in? What the fuck? Okay, from there. Come on. Smart. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the batter. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Ah, uh, you... What the hell is she doing? No! Don't you do it! Don't you leave us! Is there a way to get that out? Can't open it without the combination. Oh, where can we look for the combination, eh? You guys are still working on this? You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. You're just standing there! Get the fuck inside! <laughs> fuck. That lady. Where should I go next? Huh? What happened? What, what happened? Oh, what the hell? Oh, I didn't even see you guys! What the hell? Ah, why? No, really. Why? Back this. Break the door with something. Ah, right here. Grab it. Ah, get the hell back, you sons of bitches. X. Damn well better. We got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. That's true. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. 
She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, <laughs> girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. So what? They did things more colder. How long have you known Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. So you're a cancer survivor. Like Vernon and the others. Yeah. I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Thanks for telling me. I just hope... Toscotch, huh? I just hope things like this won't happen in reality. Pamphlets. Oh, that's what it means. Looks like they had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Number of citizens. Federal citizens and number of walk was found. Of person conducting search. Okay. Days since outbreak. Oh no. Oh, days break. Um zero? Six? Maybe? Um, three walkers. Two people. Oh, so we, we will be brought from this location, okay? Uh, people who are not, like, children, the sick and all that. So, those, those who stayed. So, okay, the right side zombies, the bottom people we found, and one... Or the, or the one we brought and one we didn't bring. And the top's just a daze. Alright. Hey, have a Clem time. You okay, Clem? She's in the classroom yeah. chair. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kinda miss it being in school. Well, it's because that's when you had a normal life. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. And I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Hmm. No power, no TV. What about these books? Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. It's true. This is true. Dolls, huh? Creepy. There's no soul. Those soul. Those dolls are dead as hell. All right, guys, what's the deal? What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, 
But what has she done for me lately? <laughs> what has she done? No, for wait. Me? There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is oh. it? What is it this it's time Ken. now? Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Don't get mad, man. Think of others other than yourself, you son of a dick. You son of a dick lick. Huh? You dick licking. What's with me? What's with me and dicks now, huh? <laughs> All right, let's check the medicine. Are those zombies still at the door? I hear them. Seems they are. Exit to the playground. Yep. <laughs> Bullet shells. That locker. Where should we? Where can we find a combination? Holy oh, shit! How the fuck? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Hold on. Can we like go up and right? Who should we shoot first? The one who's hitting the door. Boom. There we go. And then. And then. And then. And then. We good. You guys good? Please don't be one in here. It's me. It's Lee. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Maybe we should try looking somewhere else for medicine. Oh, no, no. This place is too overrun. No, that safe is our best chance. Yeah, it'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. I'll have to take time to rest later. That's not what I had in mind, no sorry. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. But what if you, like, scattered them together to make it look like a combination? Phones probably haven't worked in months. Looks like some kind of medical file. Let's look at it. Anna Correa. She must have been a patient here. And what's this? Huh? There's there's stuff on it. Why don't you look at it? I should look at that man. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. <sighs> I, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. <laughs> I heard that. 
How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? We really have no time. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry. She'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. What else can I look? Let's look at this. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. It's a baby. There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? <sighs> Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. My bad, I wanna check myself. First aid kit. Already cleaned out. Do you think shooting it open would work? Only thing that would accomplish is getting us all killed. So, no, I don't. I was thinking of that. As I said, benefits with disadvantages. We got Jesus. I didn't I didn't think a you know what? Well some doctors are atheists. I didn't think this nurse or doctor would count. As being a god person. Okay. Why am I so zoomed in? Is that supposed to happen? Kill all these douches. Can't open it without the combination. Can we at least look at it? Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Ah, something's useful in that thing. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Yes, we know that. Should we go back outside? No, oh, let's go back to the armory. Or the, the barracks. I has a whole lot of stuff in there. There could be something we missed. Or oh, the bathroom, what? When's the last time you guys had used the bathroom? Been a long time since I had to use one this small. I still do. Bone dry. Bone dry. Why is the bath? Oh, why is the bathrooms all locked up? No females allowed. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Empty. Can I at least find some writing? We could go up there. Can we try to climb up there? I mean, I want to try at least. Can't reach it. It's too high up. Son of a bitch. Molly, you there? This place definitely has some major damage. Oh yeah, the tree actually damaged this. Why? Was there a stormy night one day? Or did it break down as soon as the zombie started to break in? Huh? A tree probably ran it. I mean, a, tr a truck probably ran into it and boom. Damage. Collateral damage right then and there. Alright, what else? Open the classroom, bruh. We're back to the boring video again. Things were getting interesting. Burr. You wouldn't happen to know anything, right? Hey, I... I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Shit. I wanna know something. Huh? I wanna know some things. Let's check in here. Let's check the globe. No, let's check this one. Just a bunch of paste. Uh-huh. Globe. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Yeah, what's going on now in Turkey? What's going on in Pakistan? Should we look at this? Is there any writing on it that could symbolize, you know? Anything I missed? Other than the fucking dolls? 
Can't really talk to Kenny. How are you guys doing with that door? Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. Where else can I look? Do I go back outside? Huh? Clementine's doing her own thing. That's right, lady. You keep pointing at that wall. He said, mm, yeah, I went here. I went here. Yeah, why can't we walk down this hall? <laughs> can we look at this? Okay, 14. Alright. I mean, it had a number. I want to see if it adds thing up. Or should we look at the wall numbers? There's 21, 24. Would that mean something? Because <sighs> I guess the right side is my only option. This really is. Why do I hear gasping? I'm going back out there unless I have a damn good reason. Really? Really? Come on! I sound so dead like the rest of these foos. Huh? What can I do? I really cannot do anything now. I really can't. What do you want me to do? Look outside? Enjoy the scenery? Huh? Gotta find something, man. Gotta find something. Look at that thing again. It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. Hey, Vernon. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. I'm really out of options right now. The fuck? How come I didn't see this? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day. This camera's still working. Fifteen forty-seven. Doctor Logan in consultation with patient. Oh, Anna Logan's Curry. the locker guy. Okay, let's pay attention. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. Look at the thing. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't, I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn it, he was about to type it. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. That's one. That's one option. Let's go. We got a lead, finally. How did I miss that fucking camera? How did I miss that fucking camera? I'm so lazy. Okay, this is his locker. If we could, if we could find his body, search it. Hopefully find something from his body. And we could go back to his locker. Hopefully find a combination. For his locker and his, and the safe. Go, man. He was moving. So I'm doubt. I thought he's still laying. I doubt it. I doubt it. Was that Molly that was in the shadow here? It probably was her. Okay. 
We know what things goes, goes on. That doctor's not there. Huh. He's not there. Yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! They actually got me! They actually got me! Holy penis. Oh, the TV did his job. What the fuck? Well played. At least we got some excitement. Alright. <laughs> no boring shit out of here. He no longer here. Oh, he's crawling. He just started? Listen, man. You're dead. Where you think you're going, man? I'm gonna search your ass. This might be just what we need. That's a mite right there. Looks like some kind of code. Oh, he his... said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. How are we gonna get back up? Climb the fence? I hear one. <laughs> I hear one. He's close somewhere. All right, let's use this. This was bloody for some reason. This must have been his locker. Boom. What we got? Ah. Is that all? Finally. Finally. Got a huge ass lead. Now here we are. Let's get to that safe, my bros case. All right, soda pops. What lies beyond this tape? What lies beyond this journey? I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. It's That's beyond our imagination. the first one we watched. Put it in. All right. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, he's saw the combination. No. No. I'm guessing Anna was Molly. I should have. I'm so stupid. I did get some clear signs. He turned off the tape as he dies. Like he like that matters. More importantly, we got the combination. Looks like the sick system these bastards cooked up to protect themselves wound up destroying them. Can't say I'll shed too many tears over it. We're in business. Yeah. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Last tape. What's it about? Something mind-boggling. I'm ready. I'm ready. Probably not. I'm, I'm not ready for the suspense. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. 
I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Uh, this is before Anna. Never mind, you're the wrong person. Well, shit. She had sex with the man. Come to Molly. He's like, "Hey, Molly, I, 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 I heard you had sex with a doctor. How was it? Was a doctor in the house? <laughs> How was the doctor in the house? How? Oh, what the Jesus fuck? Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding." So I say you probably son of a bitch. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You lied to me. What? You said you'd never been here before, but that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. Hey, from what I've heard, you're not real big on the truth yourself. Besides, I didn't lie. I'm honest! How you knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. I kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Now, why is there bells? Oh, shit. Do not like this one bit. Oh, oh Ben! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, no. Are you fucking serious, Ben? Just find it stuck. Oh, you, you didn't happen to see the zombies. You didn't happen, huh? Damn, she got some skills. Holy shit. Shoot this I'm trying. Thanks. It wasn't me. Going, kid. Nice wow, Clementine. Why do I still hear punchy noises? What the fuck? That was a glitch. What the fuck is going on? Clementine got a headshot, bro. Oh, <laughs> First try. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Ben, you fucked everything up. You always fuck things up. This is my 
fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. I said save it for after we get out of here. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm yeah, we sorry. talked about this, bro. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Ah! Ah! Not the time, Molly. Enough with your sarcasm. Thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did. He's out of his motherfucking mind. Do you hear me? You can stay behind and fucking rot. Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? No. I'm so sorry, Clementine. Does Ben go with us? <sighs> I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group, and that means cutting you loose. See, that's why I didn't want to pick you, Clementine, because you're going to choose on Ben. So Holy shit! No! Oh! The dough! Oh, she is fucking dead. They just, yeah. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Oh, we can't lock that thing? So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Wow. That happened and I let it happen. <laughs> Damn it. Upstairs. Shotgun, fuck yeah! Lee, look! How many shells? Probably one, maybe. Go, 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 go. Fuck out. Fuck out! Oh, you wanna mess with the shotgun mess? You wanna go? No! What? you guys I hate each and every one of you all of you and I mean all of you you want to mess with my aim my accuracy I come on come on come on you stun up piss me off ah you want some that's what I'm talking about keep it going keep it going I got all day I got all day you fucking kill me I gotta keep on going with this repeated bullshit oh I forgot I'm, I'm supposed to do this <laughs> I'm just so good right now Pissed off, just let me have my time. Alright. Alright. Let me let me let me be myself. I'm on a roll. I just oh shit. I just killed like 30 of those assholes. Come on, get up. Oh, oh, oh. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, 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 oh. Get up, get up. Come on, get up. Uh, get up, get up, get up. Uh, no, none of them right there. None of them right there. Get up, get up, get up. Anyone right there? Alright, get up, get up, get up, get up. Instincts, bitch! Instincts, and I mean fucking instincts. Ah! 
Let's go. Up there too, huh? Woo! Who shot it? Clementine? Oh, it was Krista. Krista. Alright, man. Thanks. What's up, man? Nice, nice vest you got there. Out of the way! Out of your way! Out of the way of the shotgun master! Get the f down! The, f the hell down! You with the booty shorts, not so much booty, you know, after all, huh? Oh! Ah, uh, get the hell off of me! Ah! Boom! Come on! Is this a 12 gauge I'm wearing, carrying? Oh, you're good. It's all right, Clem. I'm fine. Listen, give me a shotgun, I'll take care of everything, this all right? <laughs> we might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Um. Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer when we came in from here. I think we can do this. Why is there more that way? What are we waiting for? Go, go! Go. Oh man. Come on, let's go. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Boom! Headshot! Ben! Oh, Ben. Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Please. He's like, um, well. We, we both know. Let me go. He made his choice. Ah. Uh. You're like, boy! You're on your own, Ben. People, be, people will be like, he means well, why? You let him go! Fuck that guy, alright? I don't give a shit anymore. Everything okay? No sympathy for that man. Please be alive. Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. He's good. He's good. Hey. Back already? <laughs> yeah, Clem, yeah, he looks so dead. I you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. Eat some of that, man. Oh, he's good. <laughs> Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. I <sighs> know Clementine does not like that. I even promised her. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. She didn't want anyone to die. And I promised her that. Okay. I, sh I should have kept them alive and just think about this later. I should have. stay here for a few more hours to check on him. I'm just pissed at the time. Shocker Master gets pissed every now and then. Yes, thank you so much. The emotions of a human ruins everything. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Oh, what, we got? what about Molly? Where'd she go? Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. 
Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen. No, you listen. You got some good people here, and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? He's gonna take her. I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now, Croft fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you. I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? be safe I guess you have a point I just want what's best for her whatever that means I think you already know what it means Lee I want you to think about some things you chose to let that boy die back in Crawford I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be In the end, I'm the fuck up. Whoever fucks up, I'm the fuck up. I'm the biggest fuck up in the world. Where's Molly? Where's she come hey, from? Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Oh, we hug it out with our eyes open widely. <laughs> and you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good Probably luck. not the moment. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Yeah, like what CM Punk once said, luck is for losers. I'm actually scared now. I don't even want to talk to Clementine. I mean, hey, sweet pea. what can I say? Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? <sighs> Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? <sighs> Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save, but oh, God what? Me too. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. Oh. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, uh. she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Suck! I hate myself. 
Not everything. I hate myself. Damn it, man. <sighs> Clementine? Am I in a dream again? Or has she actually left the room? Clementine? Am I in Clementine? Clementine! Oh god. No! Her hat! What happened? Why was I asleep? And not to be able to hear anything. Not to be woken up. Was she kidnapped? Did that guy who saw us earlier finally meet his move? Oh shit! Oh, get the fuck off of me! Son of a bitch hiding under the trash can! Are you serious? Oh no, her hat's bloody. Oh no! 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 no. Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? I'm scratched. Crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Listen, oh, guys. God. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the she hell probably did. did. No. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Let's check that walkie-talkie, man. Always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Should have thought this through. Probably let Jen Omid at the boat and me and Kenny go find Clementine. I don't know. Ah. I'm pretty sure those guys might have been gone. Might. That's a big might right there.
They're gone. Fuck. They probably want to go take the boat. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. No sign. God. There's so many out there. What's going on? Why did you just come out like that? Oh no. What the hell? Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Clementine back on. I want to talk to her. This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Oh, is that Clementine so? That's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. <sighs> oh, you bitch! Oh, the boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? Seventy-five three percent players killed him. Oh, I never get these type of stats. Hypocritical. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? You and forty-two percent liars lied or vent threaten. <laughs> I wait. I I think I lied to him. Threaten him? No, I didn't. What? I don't remember. I could have sworn I was honest. I could have sworn I was honest. How long did you bring Clementine with you with Crawford? You and forty-seven. Percent of players brought her. Yeah, well, nearly half the percent of the people who played the game. For whom the bell tolls. Did you let Ben fall to his death? There was a choice. There was a choice. Oh yeah, there was. <laughs> did the bite reveal? Did you reveal your bite? You and eight percent of players showed the bite. All right, so I'm not really that special. I did the same way as everyone else. Man. Who came with you? What the fuck? 30% was that? 10%? Ben was still alive. Six percent was just Damn. Okay, I guess I'm little special right there. Little. 